Hello folks, I'm here in my front garden. It is a scorcher of a day. It is burning here. It's like 93, 94 Fahrenheit right now, of course with humidity because it's July. This is DC's hottest month and uh, it is just so much hotter than it was in New Jersey. New Jersey, a couple of days it got uh, pretty hot, upper 80s uh, and with humidity, but it's just the, the ocean really moderates it. So it's much, uh, it's considerably cooler than, than DC. It's just so hot here, but um, you know, I took a, a short bike ride. I was just sweating so much. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big, obviously I follow the weather a lot because uh, it's very uh, important when, when growing palms to follow the weather. But um, despite all the heat, it's been kind of rainy lately and uh, my eucalyptus here have done well. The other ones, some of them look a little crispy, but I um, wanted to do a little video on the my camera apps, humulus, growing camera apps, humulus in colder locations. And um, obviously it's kind of a, you know, kind of ironic that I'm doing a video on growing in colder locations when it's so hot out. But, um, you know, this is a colder climate, obviously, uh, you know, cold obviously has to do with the, the winter, winter cold, obviously the summers, spring and fall generally here are pretty hot. But, um, yeah, uh, so this is my camera app, Humulus, Mediterranean or European fan palm. And, uh, yeah, it's been in the ground uh, a number of months now, probably, um, close to probably at least four months, maybe more. Um, I had it in a pot for, uh, about, I've had it for about a year or so. I've had it in a pot for uh, a good number of months before that, and it was outside most of the winter, just in a pot. Did really well, and again, I kind of know some that were unprotected this past winter that sailed through because it was really nice and mild. But um, yeah, Camera Ops Humulus is uh, one of the hardiest palms in the world. It's an awesome palm. It's like a windmill palm. I mean, it's, it's very closely related to windmill palm, um, with uh, you know key differences being, um, you know, it's got much more uh, divided fronds and with these thin uh, leaflets here, and uh, it's got spines on the petioles. That's a big difference. You can see those uh, the spines right there on the petioles, and they, they can be quite sharp. Um, and there's also a blue variety. There's no blue variety of, of windmill palm that I know of. Um, uh, but yeah, it also is a, I mean, the main difference, I guess, is that it's a suckering palm, so it's got multiple trunks on it. You can see I've got one sucker right there. There, you can see that one right there coming off, and then there's another one right there, which you can see emerging, uh, right, right there. So, yeah, uh, Camera Ops Humulus is native to the Mediterranean, uh, basin, uh, you know, um, southern, uh, Spain, Portugal, uh, extreme southern France, uh, is north, it's actually, that's actually the northernmost population, the population of France, no, northernmost native palm population in the world which is, it's, it's really far north, um, but not really nice warm climate. A lot of Italy, a lot of the Italian coast and uh, into Northern Africa and the blue variety, Serifera is from the Atlas Mountains uh, in Morocco, where it does get quite cold frequently. And uh, supposedly it's a little hardier maybe, but um, yeah, uh, Camerops humulus is, is uh, hardy, probably down to, uh, to zero Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously that all depends on, on, on the weather because um, for example, we are zone 7A. By the way, there's Scruffy. He's just basking on that nice tree stump. It's nice and warm. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a zone 7A. And again, you go to zone 7A, maybe in the Southwest, like Albuquerque or somewhere like that. Uh, Camera off Humulus are completely bulletproof, but that's because they're, they're dry climate. They're Mediterranean slash desert uh, plant, uh, palms. So they uh, can survive the temperatures we get here. It's, it never really gets too cold for them here. Um, but the thing is that it's wet winters. They don't like the, our, our wet winter weather. So. Uh, obviously, you know, um, pretty much the entire year they, they, they do really well with the exception of maybe like, uh, December or January. Occasionally you'll have those cold days where it's, where it'll be wet as well. And it's that that they don't like, they really don't like that cold winter rain. So, um, uh, as mine's, mine's only been in the ground a number, a couple of months, obviously I haven't protected it, but, um, this coming winter, I'm thinking that I'm going to put a little, uh, maybe plastic bag over it, or uh, maybe, I mean, the trunk's really small, it's kind of hard to put Christmas lights on that thing, and you don't want to burn the fronds, so uh, I'm thinking maybe a plastic bag or something. I'll, I, I'll do it by by uh, by ear, play it by ear, and uh, or by eye, I guess, and keep my eye on the weather. Um, and obviously, if, if it's mild enough, then I'm not going to protect it at all. I'm probably only going to cover it once I see cold temperatures in the forecast. So, um, yeah, uh, Camera Ops Humulus is a great palm, hardy probably to zone... Uh, seven, uh, reliably hardy zone seven in a dry climate and probably to zone eight, um, in, uh, a wet climate like the East coast, like Virginia beach, they start to get pretty bulletproof. I, I saw, um, probably at least 20 of them there, maybe 25, uh, only one of which, uh, actually had its main trunk dead. I don't know if it was from cold or what, but the other suckers were doing well. And like the, 
literally every other camera ops I saw, I probably saw at least 20, 25, maybe more, uh, they were doing really well. And again, I, I came when the palms were looking the worst because I came right after winter when they're usually looking the worst out of the year, but it was a nice mild winter. They were all doing really well and there were some really big ones there. So um, that's a zone 8A, Virginia Beach. Uh, according to the current climate classifications, I'm expecting to be updated soon. And um, they love sun, so place it in, a, in, in full sun. Obviously this applies to, to any climate. Uh, although, I mean, I. I, I, I guess the, they'll do better in shade, maybe in a, in a warmer, in a drier climate, uh, although you should never put them in shade. But um, especially in, in a wet climate, you don't want shady. And because, uh, you know, the, the shadier it is, usually the uh, the more the uh, soil will retain moisture as, you know, it doesn't have the sun drying it out. And you don't want waterlogged soil in a shady location when it's cold and wet. That is a bad combination for camera ops. So put it, mine's on this little hill right here next to this tree stump. We had this eastern white pine, which we sadly had to cut down. It was 110 feet, around 110 feet. So this thing was massive. We had to cut that down, unfortunately. But um, it is a nice nice slope here, incredibly sunny. And because of the, because the pine was cut down, thankfully, you know, I, I'm not glad it was cut down, but it's opened up my entire yard to, to be sunny, which has actually really helped me with my palms. So, um, you know, this used to be all just shade from this massive palm, massive pine up there. Um, and now it's all sunny. So this is uh, basically, this tree's basically never shaded. Uh, so it's got all the water, it's got all the sun it needs. And uh, I don't really water it because it's wet enough, even in the summer here where they get, it gets sufficient uh, water. I would say water after you plant it or transplant it, of course. But um, once it gets well established, doesn't need any water, especially in a wet location and never water it in winter in a wet location or a dry location, really. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's very rare that these will suffer from, um, too little water, uh, except for maybe in like a extreme desert climate. Um, uh, if you're in a wet climate, you never need to worry about it having too little water. That's pretty much never going to be an issue. Um, too much water, maybe more so. Mine had a little bit of fungus. I'm guessing maybe from waterlogged conditions, you can see where it's affected. It sort of stunted that frond there. Um, but thankfully it pushed it all up and it's all gone now. And, uh, you look at these new, uh, that new spear right there. This new spear right there. It's doing really well. This new spear is nice and firm, so that's really great. And uh, you can see it's done really well. It's put on some really nice growth. The suckers are doing well. And uh, this is sort of a little bit of a dry climate bed here. I've got my punchy humafusa, which is pushing out some new uh, pads there, which I think is really cool. And um, that's Eastern Prickly Pear Cactus. And this eucalyptus has just exploded with growth. I got it, what, like two months ago? It was like that big. And now look at it. I mean, this is my one in, Sorry, the most sunny location, so uh, it's definitely grown the most, but you look at this thing, it's just so tall now. I can't believe how much growth it's put on. They're scruffy. Um, but yeah, I guess the important things in uh, in a wet climate is having in the, I guess, driest site in your yard. So, you know, sandy soil is always gonna be a good thing. Uh, maybe amend the soil with some sand. I didn't do that, but this, this it was already in a pot, which had nice sort of uh, amended soil um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's my advice, I guess. Keep it in a, a, the sunniest spot, especially in a wet climate. Um, and uh, don't, don't let it, um, yeah, don't let it become waterlogged. Amend the soil possibly and um, give it plenty of, of sun um, and just monitor it closely. And uh, again, it should do well in, in, in a climate like this pretty much all of the year, uh, you know, and then if, you know, there's, there's few cold days, I guess, keep it, keep, keep it monitored and maybe give some protection in the winter. Um, again, just keeping it dry, in, like I said, it can sustain the temperatures we have here. So just keeping it dry, it, it, it should be fine. And then you could add additional heat if you want, or if you're in a colder location. So great palm for colder locations. You know, people have this rumor that, you know, yeah, it's hardy, but it's not hardy to wet locations. That's really not true. I mean, you look at it, it can grow in plenty of wet, wet locations um, around the world. And um, it's quite wet here and there are some big ones in the area. Again, most of which are protected, but they don't really receive much protection um, and pretty much no artificial heat. Um, so yeah, just a great palm for uh, colder locations, even wet ones. And um, yeah, if you're in a similar climate, try Cam Camera Ops Humulus, one of the hardiest palms in the world. And um, it's, it's just an awesome, awesome palm. And uh, yeah, it's eucalyptus cinerea right there. It's like a foot and a half tall now. This thing's grown like nuts, probably two feet actually. And it's leaning, obviously, but um, just insane how, how much the thing's grown. But Camera Ops is a bit of a slower grower, um, but uh, it's 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 well worth the the uh, the time it might take uh, because it is it is just a stunning palm. And uh, yeah, so keep it in a nice sunny spot and uh, give it well draining soil and um, 
maybe give a little protection in winter in cooler locations, but just a great palm. So thanks for watching. Take care, folks. This is um, a little video on growing camera ops in colder locations. Take care.